Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome myself back to my channel because I have been MIA for quite some time. Um, but this is my six month post-op update video. Um, so if you'd like to hear about my six month updates and everything that's been happening, just keep watching. <music> Okay, so I know it's been a while since I've done a video and posted anything, um, but the last time I posted a video, it was Halloween, and I was doing great. Then, shortly after that, and I don't want this video to be like all horrible because it's not, but you know, some, some of our journeys are different, and mine certainly was. Um, shortly after, Halloween into like the first week or two into November, I started throwing up everything solid that I ate. Um, whether it was beef, chicken, lunch meat, tuna, um, broccoli, anything. So basically the only thing that I could keep down was water protein shakes and yogurt which was you know I was losing weight but I just wasn't able to eat and that's not the plan you know that's not the way this tool is supposed to work so I went to my doctor I called him and told him that I was having problems so I went to him and had a visit and he decided what was best was after he started the omeprazole I did that for a month still nothing um we did the EGD on December the 5th December the 5th and he had to do a dilation because I had a stricture and which is what I kind of knew it was but I was trying to not be that person that just ran to the doctor for everything if uh you haven't seen any of my videos before I do work in healthcare, so we make the worst patients so therefore, I punished myself for longer than I should. But I had the dilation done on a Thursday. I left that Friday following morning, went to um, Pigeon Forge, sorry, I couldn't remember. Went to Pigeon Forge with a group of girlfriends and Friday night I was eating steak and it was fine. So, I've been doing great ever since. Um, weight loss picked up after I had my EGD and my dilation and been able to eat and keep everything down for the most part. Sometimes I do struggle because I eat too fast and I'm still learning my tool and learning how to do this lifestyle. So that's just something that I do for myself. It's nothing wrong, nothing at all. So, yeah, had my dilation, and that's the only problem, complication that I've had since y'all have heard from me last. A lot of things have changed in my life. Um, I don't work weekends anymore. I work Monday through Friday, like normal people. Still getting adjusted to that. I do miss my four days off, but it is nice to come home at a normal hour and 
have weekends off to do things with, you know, friends, family, or just whatever I want to do. So that's the major lifestyle change that I've had. Weight loss is still going good. I'm at like a plateau right now. Um, I can't remember what my weight was the last time I did a video. I'm not at my house this weekend. Um, so all of my notes from my last video are at home on my desk and I do apologize for that. But it seems like I was at like 2.30 something. But today I come to you at 2.06.8. I'm so close to Wonderland. Um, but like I said, it's, you know, I'm at a plateau right now. Like I'll, this is the lowest I've been. Then I'll like up a pound and go back to 206, up a pound. But I gotta, you know, buckle down and everything. And I'm not working as much anymore. So I'm not working two jobs. You know, I'm enjoying life. So hair loss, let's go ahead and get to that. My hair is coming out in gobs, um, which I've always experienced hair loss because I do have hypothyroidism, but, and I expected it. I mean, it's something coming into this journey that you have to go ahead and accept, and I did, and I have, but every way that I can prevent it, I've tried, and I'll do a video later once I get home to my huge basket of vitamins I'll show you what I'm taking you know as supplements that the doctor requires and things that I'm taking just for me and my health but that'll be in, an, in another video but I'm taking like biotin a uh, hair skin and nail vitamin you know and all that kind of stuff and I'm hitting my protein every day and that's one of the big factors of you know hair loss but it's still, it's falling out. I mean, my ponytail is, it may not be thin to you, but to me, this is a thin ponytail. And like to be able to see my scalp like so easily, like right here around my hairline, like that was not the case prior to surgery. But I'm just hoping that, you know, I quickly get through this phase and, you know, I know you can't go by with things that you read because everybody's different, but you know, things that I read, it's like the four to eight month mark is whenever you, the hair loss is horrible. So like I'm hopefully getting to the tail end of it, but I've started using like, a, I think it's by just uh, natural or something. It's like a hair loss treatment like an oil you put in your hair, you spray it in, rub it in your scalp, and so just leave it in for like two or three hours, but I usually leave it in overnight. And if you're interested, comment below, and I will like insert a picture, or send you a picture or a link or something to whatever it is, if, if you're something you're interested in. But I have some um, like growing shampoo, like I'm not trying to grow my hair out, I'm just trying to, things that are falling out, you know, get them to where they're growing. But I have a wedding to go to on March 7th, which is my cousin's wedding. And I think after that, I'm gonna just cut my hair off. Just because, to make it look fuller than it is. Because my hair's, it, it's long. It's like down past my breast, it's long. But it just, it's not as thick as it used to be. So it's, you know, a big difference for me. So I think I'm gonna do that. Celebrated my birthday this past weekend. And don't come at me in the comments about this because this is my journey, my life, me. Um, all I wanted for my birthday was a beer. That's all I wanted for my birthday. And whenever we went out to eat to celebrate for my birthday, I got a beer, one beer, and I didn't even drink all of it. Um, 
that used to be the only carbonated beverage that I did drink prior to surgery because I've never been a soda drinker. Um, yeah, it just don't taste the same. So I drink even less than half of it, and which I didn't get. Like, I, I don't feel like it affected me different. First of all, because I only drink like less than a, half of a beer and I ate wings with it. Could, could have been, you know, one of the factors, I don't know. But I had a beer, got that out of my system. I don't want a beer anymore. I have been wanting a beer for a long time. So, and that's one thing that I'm kind of learning with this new tool is you have, I have a craving for something and then once I have it, I'm done. Like whenever I first woke up from surgery, the only thing that I wanted was salmon and broccoli. And of course, can't have that. But as soon as I got to the stage in my recovery where I could have those foods, I had it. Hadn't wanted it since. So, hopefully that craving's out of my system. So, rule breaker. I know. I don't want to hear it. I'll delete your comment if I have to. Um... I'm finding that my sweet tooth is coming back, which sucks. I don't have an appetite. I'm never hungry, but I do have those, you know, cravings for sugary things, and I can eat a little bit and be fine, and then there's that, like, last bite that puts you over the edge and my dumping syndrome isn't like violent like some people that I hear but so I've kind of learned my my gray line where I can stop and yeah life has been great since then I do need to buckle down on the exercising, um, get into the gym more and just get more active, make my rings fill up, you know, even more, but that will come. I think that's it, guys. I didn't want this to be too much information in one video just because, you know, I haven't seen y'all in so long. But I hope everyone is doing well that has had their surgery since the last video. And keep me posted on your successes and your recovery. And once again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And yeah, like I said, I'm not a pro at this still. I'm only six months out. I'm still learning, still making mistakes, and, you know, still learning how to deal with them. But... That's, you know, I had a problem before I had the surgery, and it's going to take more than a surgery to fix the problem that I had. So, that's just me. I do want to give y'all one exciting life update for myself. I have decided to become a Pure Romance consultant. If any of you don't know what Pure Romance is, um... I will put a link down below that way you can go and look but I had a pure romance party and like I've told y'all before I work two jobs <laughs> and it would just be nice to have a change of scenery you know just a different focus I love what I do don't get me wrong I absolutely love what I do but on the days that I do work, the second job, if it was something different, you know, I think it would break up the monotony of what I do. So I'm gonna give it a year and see how it goes. Um, but if any of you ladies or even gentlemen do know what Pure Romance is, uh, like I said, I will put a link below and feel free to shop. It's discreet, I will never know what you order. Um, but 
if you want to book like an online party or anything, you can do that there too. Like I said, you don't have to. I'm just giving you a life update on what's going on. And I do have to mention one thing that they do sell. It's called a firming cream. I've been using it on my neck because I started getting these lines like right here where my neck had been sagging. It's worth looking into just for your neck. I'm thinking about using it on my eyes too because I've got a little bit. I need to go to a Botox party. Any y'all having one of those? I need to go to one of those. Oh, and I have a boyfriend. We've been dating for almost three months. So that's a new exciting thing too. Um, don't hardly ever get to see him, but it's fun. The biggest thing is I'm not throwing up anymore. And that was one of the reasons why I was so hesitant about doing a video was, you know, I don't want to be one thing that stops someone from doing this because I would do it again tomorrow in a heartbeat, even after, you know, the complications that I have had. I would do it again. I would do it again every year if it was a requirement, even after the complications that I've had because it has been such a saving grace for me. I had my lab work done at my doctor's office last week. All of my vitamin levels are great. Um, before surgery, which was one of the things that led me down this path, my A1C was, I think, 6.1. And that was what scared me. And I had my A1C drawn last week and it was 4.5. So I am well within normal range now. I'm not pre-diabetic. None of that. So, so very thankful. So I don't want anything that I've said in this video to scare you or, you know, make you have a second thought about doing this. Um, and if you want to reach out to me privately, you know, I will gladly have a conversation with you privately um, about what complications, I say complications, that I had. I mean, none of, none of the things that I've had post-op have been life-threatening. So, you know, don't let anything that I've said in this video hold you back from doing it. So, I think that's about it, guys. This has been a long video. And I apologize. Thanks for hanging in there. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time on my channel, this is the first video you've watched, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment and let me know you stopped by. And I will see y'all in the next one. I promise it won't be three months before you see me again. Um, but I will be posting a video, like I said, about what vitamins I'm taking and that are working for me. All right, guys, y'all have a beautiful and blessed Saturday, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.